A hundred percent more damage is a ton. Let's go for that. Double the damage of fight. Not bad. Five percent heal. Eh, that one's not. You can now carry three syringes. Now carry more bullet. Wait a second. How do how does blood magic let me carry more ammunition? Okay, I call BS on that one. They don't need vampire cowards to carry more ammo. Like, like what? <laughs> Increase the number of bullets you carry. I knew they had some crazy powers, but that's ridiculous. You can perform a supernatural move to your target, causing damage upon landing. Uh, shadow Veil. Drain your stamina to fade into the shadows and become visible to most enemies. Losing this state will drain your stamina. Yes, the shadows if you dodge or when your stamina is empty. Uh, that seems... Uh, like an invisible. Rage, Abyss, Blood Cauldron. I guess it's like a... Uh, how long does it last, though? So, five per second, stamina. So, I guess it's good for walking around. Hmm. Upgrading this level two requires too much experience. Let's go more health. More health's always good no matter what I spec into. If I'm to stay here until my research is complete, I'd better learn to hide my true nature from the mortals. But what about my thirst for blood? Yeah. Well, I, I do have to drink blood somehow, but... How, though? Ah, home delivery. Yes, Nurse Crane? How can I help you? I'm so sorry. I know Dr. Swansea wanted you to rest, but we have somewhat of a crisis. A crisis, you say? Our supply of antiseptics is nearly depleted. I was hoping there was another box up here, but... Sorry, there's nothing here. Some of the patients won't last the night without them. Honestly, sir, I'm beside myself. I may have a solution. In France, during the war, drugs shortage was a daily problem, and we had to use our wits to overcome the shortages. However do you mean? If combined correctly, certain household chemical products can be used in a pinch instead. Now, where's the hospital storeroom? The storeroom? Fat chance. This is the Pembroke, and space is luxury we don't have. Everything used to be stored in the old morgue. Perhaps I should look there first. Where is this morgue? It's the large building behind the hospital. You'll need to go in the back door because it's been sealed off for sanitary reasons. Take this key. It opens a small back entrance at the end of a narrow street. The abandoned morgue behind the hospital. A small door at the end of a narrow street. On my way then. Thank you, nurse. So this dirty woman wants me to go in the back door. No, that's literally what's happening. She's covered in mess, and she wants me to go in the back door. That's all I'm saying. That's literally what happened. It's not a joke. I cannot enter. Do they not use gloves in this time period? Because she's got blood all over her hands. Not now. Sorry, he must be... Uh, Researching. It's locked, all right. Hardcore. Okay, we need, we need to go. Can I get there? Oh, here's the door. Okay. 
large building in the back of the hospital. So over here. That giant building right there? Holy crap, that's huge. This giant building is a more this is massive. Holy crap! How many dead bodies do you need? Holy crap. Scow voices in the garden. I should investigate. If they were to find somebody. Uh do we have to? Oh god. This sounds just like a house cat to me, and there's no reason to go investigate. So they're not they're not weak to anything. Well that one's not weak to melee. We'll fight him first. No stab it up. Uh oh. Uh -huh. Woo -hoo. Woo -hoo. Whoa, oh God. Okay, stab it up, please. Uh oh, that's bad. That's bad. Okay. Woo. Okay. <laughs> We're fine. Didn't die though. Thank God. Woo. What we have on you? A photograph and a wallet. A photograph of smiling lemon couple with a few words written on the back. Milton and Pepia forever. Aww. Ooh, garbage. Nice. Lead plate. Doctor digging in the garbage. And then I'm going to go do surgery on people without washing my hands. Yeah, it looks like stamina is super important in this. I need to max my stamina ASAP. Because dodging and uh, attacks cost lots of stamina. I don't have a second weapon equipped, do I? That's why I couldn't switch to a range weapon and have one equipped. Let's go shotgun. Oh, I can't have I can't have this weapon equipped. Ooh, that sword though. I need to use the sword. It's Dragon's bane. And shotgun. It's only ten more damage by current weapons, so it's not like it's that big of a deal. The old morgue. Find some for various tartarate, quintin, sodium hypochlorite. Bring back the wallet to its owner. Glass vial. 
Something tells me that something's in here feasting on things. Definitely heard something screech. file. I want to go out there yet. Is that money? That is buddy. Let's go upstairs. Surely grant me access to the basement. Thank God. Yeah, the claw attack's really strong. I like it. I want to try some of the other abilities to see how they are, like the shadow bomb and stuff. Whoa! Hello! Suck, suck, suck. Nom, 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 nom. Seems like every time that you suck them, they get more resistant to your stun each time. It takes... Uh, first one takes two, then three, then four. Prevent you from stun locking forever to suck a guy all night. The AI's attack pattern is pretty uh, predictable. Sort of like the Dark Souls little guys. It's locked, all right. Uh, cigarette case. Glass vial. Can I go in here? All right, I guess we're gonna go downstairs now. Oh, what's that? Balls of Mars. Fortifiers. <laughs> as popular as they are ineffective. But they do contain iron tartrate, and that might prove itself useful. They're called Balls of Mars? Never heard that phrase before. Ooh, there's an upstairs. Hello there. Watery rich blood sample. Got it. Remember, if you see a Twitch staff member, just freeze. They can't sense movement. They can only sense movement, so if you don't move, they can't see you. Just be very still. And they'll move on and ban someone else. These skulls feed from corpses and the husks of animals. They're not after blood. Whoa! Gotcha. I like the look of this sword. 
not very powerful. Uh, we're, 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 that's what we're trying to figure out. We're, this game is part detective, we're in, we're, we're a detective, sort of, trying to figure out mysteries, like who these creatures are. That's one of the mysteries, they're trying to figure out why, what these things are and why they're different from me, for example. Gotcha! Mm, no, 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 no. Well, that one shot him, not bad. I must, graphically this game does look very nice. I like it. Okay, who in chat has a breathing problem and is screeching? It's locked, all right. Use night. You acquired a new type of offhand weapon. Equip it and press Y to directly absorb blood. Yeah, I, I hear a normie. Suck me back. Rude. He countered sucked. You can't counter suck a person. That is rude. Oh, yeah, we can see what the new offhand weapon does if you guys want to see it. Right, let's see. The knife. Although I do like the, the, the stun to bite. That it heals you and gives you blood, which is awesome. And it makes you immune while you're while you're sucking. Loot, I missed. Glass file. I sure grab all the things. We're playing on PC, we're using a, a controller because they design the combat interface and everything on the controller. It's so easy to just tell. Yeah, you start a, you start off the game immediately as a vampire. Big fight room, possibly. Uh -oh. What the? That does nothing. Like, I need to grab the suck again. I need to, I need to, can I? Okay, it does pause, okay. Let's uh, switch to... Combat suck is just too good. It's too OP. This. Looks like I can kill his shadow. Mm, 
Combat suck. Gotcha. These skulls can be so ferocious. I'm not sure I can defeat them without becoming stronger. Ah. To drink blood is so tempting. Mmm. Nice blood smoothie. Sodium hypochlorite. Dangerous to administer, but efficient in the proper dosage. Yeah, it does heal, but very, very little. Anything out here? Nothing. God, I need some blood. Give me some more powers. Watery rich blood sample. A very small dose that can be used to calculate blood serums of vampires. Hmm. 60 points instantly. Oh, now I have a blood serum. Enigmatic formula. Ooh. Treatment for the cold, bronchitis, anema, fatigue. We got all we needed, so let's get back to the hospital. How long have I been playing? Um, about a little over two hours now. I don't like this game so far. It's definitely very slow paced. Not everyone's gonna like this game, but I like it for what it is. What's the plot of this game? Uh, the plot is the main story. Hi. The, well, currently, we're in the middle of London where there's a giant plague. We were turned into a vampire against our will. We're trying to find the person that did it to us. We gotta try to find the vampire that converted us. That's what. And we gotta try to figure out why these people are like. They seem like they're kind of vampirish, but different from us. Like they're a little more wild and crazy, like non subs. A little unruly, so we gotta figure out what their what's their deal is. Whoop. Come on, suck, 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 suck. Steak is too useful. So far, firearms seem almost useless. They're really bad. The steak is OP. The st being able to stun and suck is like really strong. Firearms seem like they're kind of like, why do they exist right now? There might be firearms might be better against humans possibly, but humans still have really high resistance and stuff as well, so I don't know. Maybe they get better over time, but right now it's like, eh. It, the biggest problem with firearms they don't seem to stun as well as the the um Da the stake does. That stake combat heal is just too important. Public notice. All right, Chad, you got to pay attention. Cover each cough and sneeze with a handkerchief. Walk to work. 
Do not spit. Drink from your own cup. Avoid crowds. If taken ill, go to bed and send for a doctor. To make a mask, take a piece of ordinary cheesecloth, uh, fold it, uh, fold it, and fold it again. Uh, Cords about ten inches long in each corner. Apply over mouth and nose, as in picture. Oh. So make sure you do that, guys. You're going to be arrested. We will be looking to make sure you have a mask. You missed clues in that place? You had to examine the corpse on the operating table? Well, I'll go double check. I didn't see anything, but I'll double check. I think enemies constantly respawn, though. <laughs> Why does it have to be crappy third person? It's not crappy, it's fine. Body on operating table. What? What? There's no body on the operating table. Nothing on the operating table. The other room? Oh, this room. Oh, there. A new citizen investigation is available. Press to open the local investigations menu. Chat was helpful. Whoa. Thank you, chat. Citizen investigations are displayed here. You can start a new citizen quest by tracking it with X and access your map to locate the area to explore. Bring back the wallet to its owner. The harder they fall, citizen quest. Find out the cause of death. Uh, probable cause of death, fast progressing pneumonia by virus induced pulmonary con consolation. Examination attendants, Dr. Corcoran, Trippitz, Nurse Gwyneth Bennigan. Name of signature, Dr. Corcoran Tippitz. Occupation fisherman. Uh, race, Cossacoid. Samuel Connor. Mr. Connor's injuries don't match the report. I'd better look into this. Check the body. Traces of a pinkish foam at the corner of the lips. Some sort of drug overdose, perhaps? Hmm, interesting. How curious. The chest was originally open to perform the operation. The sutures are clean, but the chest has been reopened. Multiple abrasions and scarring on the arms and legs. Old and distinctive injuries of a sailor or a fisherman. A puncture over the left lung. Possibly a chest tube insertion. Not the cleanest work, but I think it was successful. Signs of internal bleeding. So... Dr. Tippett's anesthetics were incorrectly dosed, causing the patient's death. And then he tried to operate on him again. Tippett has made an egregious error. <gasps> it's time we talked. Ooh, Tippett's. His medical error costs him his life. Ooh, I'm gonna talk the hell out of you, sir. Oh, he's in trouble now. How's this game? It's fun if you like. Don't buy it if you want an action combat game. That the, the combat's fine, but it's not really the focus of the game. The focus of the game is all about talking to people and investigations and stuff. And reading, reading things. Combat's all right, but it's not really the focus. It has a little bit of combat, but the combat's kind of like, eh.
But I'm enjoying this game right now as Vampire Homes. It's fun. It's my kind of game. I like slower games like this. It's not for everyone, though. Is there a better way to see interactable objects? All I can spot is blood in my... I wonder if I can upgrade this vision to, like, spot other things. I need to look in the upgrades. Ever play Omicron? No, I haven't heard of that one. The chest was locked. I can't open it. Yeah, I need the key. This one's only for spotting blood right now. Now, the graphics didn't quite turn out like the preview showed, but they're pretty good. They're decent. Oh, hi! <gasps> Gotcha. I didn't realize that guy was crazy. Whoops. Oh, Batman. Boop. It's in. Oh, I can peep. I can peep in the office. What's the point of going up here, though? There must be like something later that requires coming up here. But right now, it doesn't seem like there's anything, any purpose to this. Well, now I know I can peep, which is cool. Wait, is there something right there? Trash! Grease and screws. Perfect. Who was that? More small bottles. Such beautiful music. Where is this doctor? We gotta talk to this doctor who killed that man. You are going to reveal all your secrets to me. <coughs> Even the darkest thoughts in your heart. My blood and soul. They belong to you now. The life running in your veins. This dead flesh needs it. Oh, please uh... spare me, Dark Queen. Spare your obedient slave. Good evening, sir. Can I help you? Unless you're here to fix my face. No. I don't think you can help me. I'm Dr. Reed. I've recently taken the position of head surgeon here. War injuries, am I right? Was she you casting a spell right, on you? Doctor. German shell took my pretty little mug right off. But they still call me Thomas Elwood. How is your stay with us, Mr. Elwood? Oh, it's bliss. I just escaped death in the trenches to be surrounded again by the moans of the dying. Can I ask you precisely why you're a patient here? It's the pain, sir. The drugs don't work. It just hurts under the scars, if you get my drift. Can I do anything for your pain? Nurses gave me a bunch of pills. No effect. Told you. It's like the flames are under my skin, burning away. Who is treating you? Is someone in particular looking after your case? Nobody since the old and tired doctor spoke to me. Started to think I was forgotten about. Wouldn't blame you. You don't seem worried by that. My face hurts so much more when I smile or cry. I've learned it's easier not to speak. But be assured, I'm smiling inside. Hmm. Well, we found out that... about your injury. Why do you feel responsible for the injury, Thomas? What really happened? I wasn't disfigured by any German shells. It happened during my leave. It was an accident. Why lie about it? Come on. 
It's one thing to come back disfigured by the Germans, and it's another to get injured in an accident that could have happened to anybody. That's kind of true. Reconstructive surgery has been very successful for some soldiers. I don't want to wear a bloody mask for the rest of my life. I'd rather stay here and just be forgotten. What if I told you I had a panda mask? Rip hints, what? What just happened? What just hit? Ah, oh, crashed. Whoops. Oh no, the game crashed. Don't know what happened. Whoops. Whoopsie, I don't know what happened there. Just like it was going great and it just went poop to desktop. Damn. Hmm. Wow, that, that was crazy. There was like no warning to it, just like, oh, you fail for no reason. Here you go. What's wrong with telling the guy that he could have surgery? Good evening, Mr. Elwood. Evening, Dr. Reed. Why do you feel responsible for the injury, Thomas? What really happened? I wasn't disfigured by any German shells. It happened during my leave. It was an accident. Tell me what really happened then. I went with a whore in Rouen. <laughs> Dead drunk I was. The hotel was a shithole. There was a fire that night. Did you start the fire? Were you trying to avoid going back to the front? That's not uncommon, you know. No. It's just that I was asleep when the flames reached the room. The girl was long gone. Bitch never woke <gasps> me up. Left me to burn. Why lie about it? Come on. It's one thing to come back disfigured by the Germans. And it's another to get injured in an accident that could have happened to anybody. You know you can't hide forever. One day you'll have to face your loved ones. Until that day, you have no chance of real recovery. My friends all died in the trenches. It's shameful enough to be alive for these stupid scars. I don't want my children to see me like this. Aww. Well, we didn't fail the hint, though. Thankfully. Wait. I think it already failed. God damn it! It auto saved. Damn it! Not damn it! How is your stay with us, Mr. Elwood? Oh, it's bliss. I just escaped death in the trenches to be surrounded again by the moans of the dying. Can I ask you precisely why you're a patient here? It's the pain, sir. The drugs don't work. It just hurts under the scars, if you get my drift. Can I do anything for your pain? Nurses gave me a bunch of pills. No effect. Told you. It's like the flames are under my skin, burning away. 
Who is treating you? Is someone in particular looking after your case? Nobody since the old and tired doctor spoke to me. Started to think I was forgotten about. Wouldn't blame you. You don't seem worried by that. My face hurts so much more when I smile or cry. I've learned it's easier not to speak. But be assured I'm smiling inside. Aww. Where were you stationed, sir? Did you serve for long? I really don't want to talk about all this shit. No offense. I was pushing too much. I served in France myself. I just wanted to know what happened to you. You were an officer, weren't you? Then I doubt we fought the same war, sir. No offense. Goodbye for now, Mr. Elwood. Here we discussed on every street corner. Do -do 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 -do. Daily routine. Hi. Hello there, mister. Good evening, Mr. Hampton. How do you feel? Dr. Reed, is it? Oh, sorry. I must Wait a minute. Your necklace! Ah, it what burns! I was not myself ah. in victory. Fear and exhaustion make me say awful things to you, I'm afraid. You remained perfectly nice and polite. A little delirious, perhaps. But who wouldn't be after enduring an abduction? Thank you, doctor. That's a relief. Now all I need to do is rest and return to my flock. How did you end up in William Bishop's den? I had received alarming news about his recent behavior. I went to his place and he refused to let me go. Hello, Delfron. Why did he abduct you? William was an alcoholic. His addiction suddenly changed to blood. I don't know why. Just like a patient I met here. This Miss Hawcroft. You dared to enter this awful place alone. You're a hero, Mr. Hampton. Or a fool. I'm just a man trying to help his friends, Dr. Reed. William Bishop was a conflicted soul, searching for light. Do you know Tom Watts, the bartender from the Turtle? I met him before I found you in the canning factory. Tom? Yes, of course. Always the helping hand, good old Tom. Without men like him, corruption and despair would have wiped out the East End long ago. People are still in despair. How could it be otherwise? The authorities have left us all to rot in this contagious nightmare. No drugs, no advice, nothing. It's a damn shame. Who should I avoid in this part of town, then? Any particularly evil figures? Not really. Most men and women are just doing their best. And it's not my habit to speak ill of people I know, Doctor. What is the general situation in the East End docks? The situation has always been tough, with a lot of tensions between the gangs and the Dockers' trade union. The wet boot boys are very nervous since they lost their leader. Who leads the gang now? Since Clay Cox went missing, it's his wife Edwina who runs the show. With the assistance of her minion, Booth Digby. Has the gang been threatening you? Ah, no. I've had this nickname for so long, you know. The sad saint of the East End. No one dares to bug a saint. Not even criminals. Tell me about your what living. What do you do for a living, Mr. Hampton? I can't help but notice the cross the around The blinding you. cross, I manage a night asylum for the poor and homeless of the docks. And I try to guide the lost and hesitant on the right path to our Lord. Are you a priest, Mr. Hampton? A deacon, maybe? Not at all, Doctor. I'm just a man of faith willing to preach the good word. Why didn't you use your cross against William Bishop? To repel him somehow? That's a very strange question, Doctor. A cross is no magical token, if that's what you were trying to say. Not mine, anyway.
How do you feel, Mr. Hampton? Medically speaking, I mean. I feel exhausted. Beyond exhaustion, actually. William drank so much of my blood in his madness. I feel... empty. You're in good hands here. Want to feel more empty? Dr. Swansea is well versed in blood transfusion, and I'm sure he'll take the best care of you. Thank you, sir. I believe all I need is rest, and then I can go back to the people who need me. Have you made friends since you arrived? Not really, but I recognize Miss Harriet Jones. I knew her when she lived by the docks. That poor woman had such a miserable life. You never came to see her here at Pembroke? Receiving visits when sick can be an important part of the healing process, you know. We're not just bodies. You're preaching to the converted now, Doctor. To be truly honest, I thought she was dead. She left the docks many months ago. Goodbye, Mr. Hampton. Goodbye, Father. We'll talk again later. It's locked. Break it down with your vampire power. Hello, witch who casts a spell on that guy. Good evening, miss. I'm Dr. Reed, the new surgeon at the Pembroke Hospital. And who are you? Your name has no meaning to me, mortal. You're nothing but dust blown by the winds of eternity. I beg your pardon? What are you begging for, mortal? My clemency? Well, tonight maybe I'm inclined to mercy. You'll never forget the night you met Thelma Howcroft. You keep calling me mortal. Why is that? And if I'm mortal, what are you? Well, Dr. Crazy. Reed, if you must know, I'm a vampire. <gasps> you, if you're a vampire, you're evil and must die. And why do you believe you're a vampire? I don't need to believe anything. It is what I am. It is what I feel within this hollow shell of flesh. Please, describe to me how you feel. What is it like to be a vampire? I can hear my body crumble from the inside as my flesh cracks and fades. I sense the last pulse of postulant blood within my drying veins. I need new blood. I see. Have you ever heard of Cotard syndrome, Miss Howcroft? Never. It's a mental illness discovered by a French neurologist named Jules Cotard. The affected patients are delusional. They believe that they are putrefying, that they are dead, a, a ghost or a ghoul, or in your case, a vampire. Delusional, you say? Oh, sad and petty mortal. You can't even begin to understand the concept of immortality. And you think it is I who am delusional. Mm -hmm. Well, actually, she has higher vampire power than I do right now. I can't mesmerize her. I'm assuming you must be a patient here. Am I right, Miss Howard? It's only a cover to hide from my enemies. I can leave whenever I want. As a woman, a, a spirit, fog, or bat. These enemies you mentioned. Can you describe them? I cannot say for sure. But I sense their eyes on me from nearby. I, I, I feel them watching me every time I visit the garden near the morgue. Well, I'll take care of you, baby. The staff here are not your enemy. They're here to help you, to care for you. I'm not speaking of the doctors in white. I'm speaking of the men and women who hunt me, for I am a vampire. I see. Don't worry. These people will not find you here. I'll personally make sure they leave you alone. Thank you, mortal. But do not interfere with them, for you are no match for those that hunt me. Ugh. Wrong target, new investigation. Who are you really, Miss Howcroft? I mean, apart from being a vampire. Is that not enough for you, puny mortal? <laughs> what do you require? Hmm? Proof of my powers? Yeah. I'm curious to know who you were before becoming a vampire. No, it was such a long time ago, I don't remember. 
Centuries of unholy life can have strange effects on one's minds, you see? Okay, well. I'll leave you, Mistress of the Dark. All right. To your nocturnal Miss activities. Vampire. But the suffering continues. I wonder if she really is a vampire, though. Uh, use of the... About the use of garlic and wooden stakes. Dear brothers, I must now draw your attention to, to a very important point. The use of garlic as protection against vampires. Let's be crystal clear on the subject. Garlic will never protect you against those creatures, no matter how fresh, how strong, and how delicious. Garlic is totally useless as a defense. I can never say enough how damaging that novel of Bram Stoker has been. Of Yes, of course, population of Slavic countries place garlic cloves in coffin. Coffins, yes, of course, inhabitants of Satorini Island New hang subscriber. garlic on their windows. There would be so much to write about it, this place, and someday soon I hope to go back to the island and further explore its occult tradition. But that is not to protect the living from this devil. It is to tell the dead that they are aware of its malevolence. It is a symbol, nothing more, nothing less. So please, by all means, yes, wear garlic, show garlic, hang garlic, and tell shadows that you are not afraid. But if you are looking for supernatural protection, you will have to search much deeper than the forgotten secrets of the occult tradition. For here is the truth, my fellow brothers. Garlic does not repel vampires, but all the fresh plants will hurt them. What? It is as if their bodies cannot stand the presence of botanical elements. I have seen an enraged vulp free, then whacked with a rose. Yes, a simple rose. I have witnessed a violent echon fall down and beg for mercy when struck by a wooden stake. I don't know why it's so effective. And I would give my left arm to answer the, that mystery. But the truth remains, nonetheless. Vampires are very sensitive to the fresh herbs, plants, and woods. From... Um... No, actually? So many deaths. No, that's, that's, that's not true. You're gonna tell me that I'm an almighty vampire, but if someone has a bouquet of flowers, I'm dead? Good evening, nurse. Good evening, doctor. I don't think we've been introduced yet. Hi there. My name is Pippa Hawkins. And I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed. Dr. Swansea has recently offered me a position in this hospital. Well, it's a euphemism that your help will be appreciated, Doctor. How would you describe the situation at the Pembroke Hospital? It's serious. The flu is wreaking havoc amongst the staff and patients. We are running out of everything. Nurse Hawkins, the Spanish flu won't last forever. Even the Black Plague didn't kill everyone. I wish I could believe you. But what if this epidemic was worse? What if in the end, nobody was spared? Oh, no. You must get a hold of yourself, nurse. <sighs> Sorry, I'm exhausted. No one has any idea when this epidemic will be over. How long have you been a nurse? Well, long enough to see that the epidemic is winning. And no matter how qualified you are, don't tell me you'll change that. You'd be surprised what dedication can achieve, Nurse Hawkins. In medicine, sometimes we're just a test result away from a miracle. <sighs> Sorry, Doctor. I don't want to sound bitter, but I'm just too tired to give a pep talk like Nurse Brannigan. How is the Pembroke staff coping with the epidemic? Well, not well. Milton, the ambulance driver, is even more grumpy than usual, especially concerning doctors. Why is he so grumpy? Why is Milton grumpy on a daily basis? Is it just an act? Milton's not the kind of man who's bothered about a bad reputation, whether he deserved it or not. Ooh, hint. Beautiful. Why does Milton dislike doctors? I don't know. Just ask him. But be warned. Milton is not the chatty type. Uh, there's a weird lighting glitch in this game where, like, the sides of stuff will turn bright white. Happened with this woman's hair and this girl's side of her mouth. I don't know what's causing that. How would you describe this situation? It's so... You must... <sighs> How long? Or long in You'd be. 
Hmm. How is... No. Goodbye, Nas Hawkins. Goodbye. Fear and disgust on every street. Yeah, I installed the driver before I started playing. The time has lost its effect on me. Doesn't help, but, but it's an in-game problem. Yeah, some reason like hair will turn bright, bright, bright white. It's locked, all right. The corner of her mouth was super bright, right? Hello. It's locked. Where the hell are the key to this stuff? All this loot just sitting around. I want the loot, David. Let me do a medical examination on you, ma'am. Good evening, Miss Howcroft. I need blood, Doctor. Warm, rich, vibrant blood. Me too, baby. Do you require my services, Miss Howcroft? I have no need for your medicine, Dr. Reed. Blood is the only drug I need. I'll leave you, Mistress of the Dark, to your nocturnal activities. Okay. What's up? Something's over this way. Hi, Doctor. Good evening, sir. I'm Dr. Reed. I believe we're going to be colleagues. Reed? Yes, I've been informed about your arrival. I'm Waverly Aykroyd. Welcome aboard, I suppose. Does my arrival inconvenience you in some way, Dr. Aykroyd? Let your, us just say that I don't eyes. particularly share Dr. Swanson's enthusiasm for hiring you. His eyes. What we need here are reliable professionals, not overrated dabblers. Like his eyes went really far left. If you have a problem with me, Dr. Aykroyd, please feel free to tell me. Dr. Swansea has imposed your presence on this hospital without asking anyone's advice. The benefit of his position. But I don't agree with it. I know we've never met before, but I believe this hospital could use all the help it can get. You will agree with that, I'm sure. Oh, but I have heard about you, Dr. Reed. Of course, you can't say the same about me, since I have not wasted my time courting the press. Well, the thing is here, I don't know what, like, there's no hints about which of these is the best option. Like, this is a consequence question, but they all sound the same. There is no need for such animosity between us. Don't you think the epidemic is already enough to deal with? That is one point we could agree on. And that is precisely why I want to be sure that you will be of help to this hospital instead of a burden. Well, that, I don't know if that failed or not. It just, nothing happened. I didn't get a hint and I didn't fail. I don't... Since your tenure in this hospital is longer than mine, Perhaps you can tell me more about this place. Let's just say I'm tired of the carelessness around me. I have always respected the skills of Dr. Swansea, but over time, his enthusiasm has become displaced. Carelessness? Exactly what are you talking about? We're here to save lives. The people who trust us are not volunteering for experimentation. They're here to be healed. I don't intend to run any radical experiments, Doctor. Aww. Even if I, as any good practitioner should, express an interest in pushing the boundaries of medical research. Modern medical methods were created through audacity and ego. But there are rules in our line of work, and they're here to protect our patients. I don't know what you've heard about me, but I have already proved my value as a practitioner. I don't question your skills, Dr. Reed, but your motive. Is it money? What? Fame, or are you truly dedicated? And what exactly is that supposed to mean? I served in the war just like you. But unlike you, I did not use the wounded to play the modern sorcerer. Be careful what you insinuate, Dr. Aykroyd. I only want you to admit you used those men to improve your theories. <gasps> How dare you?
Uh oh. I'm gonna go with this one. Knowledge has always been and will remain our main weapon, and it has always come at a price. And personal initiative. It is not a question of initiative, it is a question of integrity. These men and women have put their faith in us, Dr. Reed. It seems you have bad memories of your military service. I refuse to see this industrial slaughter as scientific progress. War only reveals the worst in men. We can at least agree on something, Dr. Ackroyd. We didn't fail, it would have told us if we failed. I don't know what you've heard about me. But I don't quite... And what ex... I, sir... Be careful. I only... Knowledge. It is not a... Oh. Thank you for your I time. I don't like this guy. We'll talk later. I don't like that guy. I'm so tired. This shift never ends. Where? It says something's. Oh, it's above me. Second floor. Da, 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 da. Yeah, his tie is all like all over the place, but I guess he's a doctor with primitive medicine, so he's like all dishuffled. Interrogate Gwyneth Bacon about the medical error. That's down below me. Down this way. In this room? Come now, we can handle this. He's outside. Outside. Okay. Over here. No. Where the hell are you? Is the mark in the right thing? There you go. Hi. Hi. Good evening, sir. So it is true. The famous Dr. Reed has joined us. I can't think of any better news during these terrible times. Do we know each other? Actually, yes. We met once before, at the Rockefeller University in New York. Dr. Tippett, yes, I remember. I was assisting Professor Carell in his research about coronary bypasses. He had nothing but praise for you. He was also very confident about your future. And look at you now, eminent surgeon and blood transfusion specialist. What is the Pembroke Hospital situation? And please, speak freely. Thank you, Faux Show. This hospital is not exactly the best of London. I'm sure you are used to working in a better environment. It's more than enough. In any case, the personnel of a hospital are much more important to me than the building. Don't be misled by appearances, Dr. Reed. This hospital does not lack talented people. It just lacks hope. What can you tell me about the staff in the hospital? Some are really good, and others are not so good. But during this troubled period, there is no time for slander. I prefer to focus on the positive character traits. Tell me more about cherished people, then. Nurse Brannigan is a pearl. She is the most helpful and dedicated nurse I've ever worked with. A clever and cheerful woman. You really seem to admire her skills. I'll go even further. If she was a man, she would be a damn fine practitioner. Any opinion about the management? I don't always agree with Dr. Swansea's reserve. But I must admit, he does all he can to keep this facility running during this crisis. Ah, yes, the burden of command. I was fed up with this concept while serving as a medical officer. Don't get me wrong. 
Swansea's a good administrator. I just wish he would get out of his office down again. You look... Your face is tired. You're exhausting yourself, Corcoran. Maybe you should think about preserving your strength. No. We must keep on healing all those poor souls. We are the last rampart before chaos. Once more, unto the breach. Nurse Brannigan is worried about you, Doctor. <laughs> she should not have told you that. I will have a word with her. You don't have to blame her for her honesty. <laughs> I'm not that kind of man, my dear Jonathan. Actually, Nurse Brannigan's opinion is the only one I may listen to. Oh, the medical air. Kokoran, I want you to tell me about Mr. Connor. How did he die? What happened? He was my patient. He died because of my mistake. That's the blunt truth. Blizzard confirms they are working on a new Diablo project. <gasps> Ooh. Who was this patient? I don't know. Some sick man from the docks. Maybe a fisherman. I had no time to talk with him. No one claimed a body. What was the nature of the mistake? It was a twofold error. My diagnosis was wrong, and the administered dosage was too strong. Why not stop practicing? Are you mad? I killed that man, I admit it, and it won't happen again. I have saved so many lives since then. Goodbye, Dr. Tippett. Please, I feel sick. Interrogate Gwyneth Bennigan about the medical error. Diablo 2 remastered? Possibly. Unlikely, but possible. Or possibly POE 2 with, uh, Diablo decided to go PoE style because PoE is shitting money, so they're probably like, hmm, maybe we need to get on that. Let's go ahead and make this cure. Treatment for fatigue. There we go. Alright. Alright, before we continue, I need to grab some more water. Out of water. Be right back in just a second.
back. Both PoE and Diablo are both boring. Well, they're not for everyone. Not every game's for everyone. Like, a lot of people are going to quit this game if it's not the most exciting, action-filled game ever. It's a lot of talking and investigating. A lot of people will probably rage quit it real fast. And I'll be like, Whoa! Get wrecked for no patience! Toggle to look for citizens. Oh, that's right. I can do that. I need to talk to Gwyneth Banigan. And... I also need to give this to Dorothy Crane, wherever she is. There she is. Hi there. Finally, you've returned, Doctor. Did you find anything of value? Yes, nurse. You've worked your first miracle, doctor. Now, this patient here needs immediate treatment. Duty calls? When the storm has passed, I'll show you how to mix the remedy yourself with the same basic ingredients. Many thanks, doctor. When you've finished, you ought to report to Dr. Swansea in his office. He's been looking for you. Seemed pressing. Ray 005E, I zoom out as far as I can. I mouse back as far as I can. I'm not zoomed in at all. Diseases decrease the blood quality of a citizen. Use the correct medicine to heal them. Speak to a patient in the room behind Dorothy to check his medical status. So I need to heal them in order to suck them. Oh, it's this guy again. Good evening, sir. Good evening, Mr. Goswick. How are you? I'm okay. Do you need any help? I'm afraid I may, sir. I don't mean to be a burden. Here you go. You are not a burden, sir. Healing you is my responsibility. And you have my gratitude. And how for I that. get paid. What's that? You don't have any health insurance? <laughs> well, you could pay in another way. Follow me into the dark corner. I shall drain what I need. Tell me about yourself, Mr. Goswick. I don't want to talk, Doctor. I have to go now, sir. But don't hesitate to contact me if you need any help. Good evening, sir. Now, would it be rude of me to carry a, a twirly stop straw with me? Make a poke mark with my teeth and then, like, put the straw in there and just... But in circumstances, I'm willing to give you... Good evening, Doctor. How is my son doing? Goodbye, Mrs. Goswick. Goodbye, Goswick. I talked to you. Did I talk to you? Remember, Citizen's Blood will provide you massive XP boost. Look for Citizen's Red's Mind's Little below. Choose the option. Wisely. But if I drink blood, will they know? Let's go. We gotta talk to people to get their names. Please, has anyone seen my daughter? What? Your daughter? Beatrice Goswick. This person we don't we haven't talked to. We don't know their name yet. Hey, how do I get to them? They're right They're behind this locked door. Aren't they? It's locked, all right. I can't get there. Interrogate Gwyneth Brennigan about medical error. Where the hell is she? Gwyneth? Oh, she's that lady. Is she still outside, maybe? 
It's the woman with the cross on her breasts. She's out here, I think. New subscriber. There she is. Hi. Good evening. Tomato Ono, thank you Good for the evening, sub. Doctor. Why does Dr. Tippett's claim you're the main reason he keeps working, despite his fatigue? If it wasn't for him, I probably would have left the Pembroke years ago. Dr. Tippett's does not think of you as just a nurse anymore, does he? If you're suggesting Ooh. he's not taking my gender into consideration when it comes to medical practice and knowledge, I really hope he doesn't. Oh, that's mean. Tell me what Dr. Tippett's did. I know his mistake caused a patient's death. If I had not covered up his error, Dr. Tippett's would have been fired from this hospital. I could not let that happen. You can't allow your emotions to dictate your conduct concerning patients, Nurse Brannock. Look around you, Dr. Reed. Do you really think we can afford to lose a brilliant practitioner like Dr. Tippett's in our situation? Perhaps you did it with the best intentions, Nurse Brannigan, but you took a great risk. Must I remind you that a man died? You mean you've never made a mistake? Never covered your tracks? Come on, Doctor. I wasn't born yesterday. I was. As the undead. More hints. Goodbye, nurse. Call me if you need assistance. It's hmm. one good nurse. Choose what to do. Cover Dr. Tippett's in exchange for his resignation. Trust Gwyneth Brigham to cover Dr. Tippett's error. Hmm. Good evening, Dr. Tippett's. Dr. Reed, any good news to share? Oh, uh, do I... He's getting people killed with his errors, though. <sighs> Goodbye, Dr. Subscriber. Do I make, what do you guys think? Should I make him resign? Or should I let the nurse cover it up? Hmm. Trust my gut? My gut says get more hamburgers, which that doesn't really help. Cover it up. All right. It is now or never. Good evening, Nurse Brannigan. Good evening, Doctor. I've decided that I won't reveal Dr. Tippett's, shall we say, misdemeanor. I'm so glad you share my point of view. Dr. Tippett's is a brilliant practitioner. We most definitely need his know-how. I hope you're right. This is a huge risk we're taking. Dr. Tippett's must regain his confidence. Please, keep this decision between you and me. He doesn't need to know you found out. Whoops. I already told him. <laughs> Whoops. Goodbye, nurse. Call me if you need assistance. Well, I already told him about it. Sorry. Da -da 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 -da. You can't reload. This game has anti saves coming. It saves instantly. I wish there was some way to tell like what decision I'm about to like affect because some of these some of these answers are kind of vague and if you choose it you fail and there's like it's like oh you fail we're saving the game you're done like what there's how am I that wasn't intuitive.
Some of these things I'm like, what? That doesn't make what is happening? That guy, Milton Hooks. It's that guy right there. Let's go talk to him. Good evening, Milton. Good evening, Doctor. Still trying to save lives. I have some good news, Milton. What? The epidemic's over? I retrieved your wallet. With all the money and a certain picture. Well, yeah. Pippa Hawkins is my girl. So what? Is it the difference of skin color that bothers you? Not at all, Milton. Good. Please, take this money anyway. To remind you to keep your mouth shut. Not everybody is as broad-minded as you, Dr. Reed. Oh, thank- 40 shillings? Hell yeah! What's going on between you and Nurse Hawkins? Pippa's tired. Tired of all this shit. Tired of all those corpses piling up. She's as depressed as I am. During the war, I witnessed a few couples just like you come together in difficult circumstances. It can be very damaging. Maybe you're right. But we support each other. And that's all that matters. You do realize you could both get fired. New subscriber. Hospital staff are not meant to have intimate relationships with one another. Come on, Dr. Reed. Do you know how many rules are broken in this hospital every day just to keep it running? There's nothing wrong with what we're doing. Well... All right, let it go this time. But I need, I get to watch. Do you need any medical help, Milton? I'm fine, Doc. Physically, at least. But I would give everything to be in a better place right now. Goodbye, Milton. We had one more investigation, which was... Find out who is spying on Thelma. Another night with the glorious battalion. I gotta talk to someone upstairs, looks like. Talk to that guy. I don't think I talked. Did I talk to you yet? Good evening, Miss Howcroft. How are you tonight? Oh, you're the vampire. You're the vampire. I'll leave you. Goodbye. Talk to Edgar Swenzia. Who's that guy? We gotta talk to that guy. Well, let's... Hello. Please, Jonathan, come in. Fascinating, is it not? In the last decade, so many mysteries have been brought to light with our microscopes. The human body. New subscriber. Biology's penultimate frontier. The more we explore its boundaries, the less we're able to trace a clear line between life and death. <laughs> the, you, my friend, have a foot in both countries. The view must be vertiginous. It's at least as vertiginous as chatting about vampires with you, I would say. Vertiginous? This must be all so new to you. This area of town, the hospital, a brand new life. How stimulating it must be. I wish I could share your enthusiasm, Dr. Swansea, but my condition defies scientific categorization. Undead? Unalive? Immortality defies logic. I cannot express my thrill at this serendipitous turn of events. The world's most eminent specialist in blood transfusions, a vampire. One might say a gift from heaven. There is an absurd poetry to my situation. Physician, heal thyself. Forgive me. I've been an admirer of your work for a long time, and now you are so much more than a brilliant physician. And please, call me Edgar. I'm not some doe-eyed student, Edgar. I understand we both have something to gain from this relationship. Very well. I have a task for you, Jonathan. Something that will require all your newfound skills. Please, go on. 
The Pembroke only survives through the generosity of our benefactors. Unfortunately, our main donor has found herself in a bit of a bind. Now, if you could help her out... A spokesman or politician is what you need. That's not my calling. And until I come to understand what has happened to me, I require discretion. Discretion is in order, Jonathan. Lady Ashbury has recently received rather indelicate correspondence that, if revealed, would jeopardize her position. And you would like me to eradicate this threat? By the stole, of course not. I would just like you to pay her a visit. Her ladyship is certainly near the tents outside, tending the sick. You can't miss her. Look for someone impossibly delicate. Accepted. I'll see what kind of trouble Lady Ashbury is in. Hmm. Okay. I'm also going to look around your room for notes, clues, and loot. Like this one. As a scholar of an exegrate of ancestral writings, I would never insist enough about the importance of taking legends and ancient folklores into account when searching for hints about hidden or lost secrets. A common mistake is to take what we know for an established truth mm. and use it to discard any contradictory materials. For example, we must consider the possibility of undiscovered species of vampires, necessity to rethink what we see as the established truth about the various types of, of immortals based on what we know and what we've gathered through time. For how many centuries did we consider the vampire was the vernacular term for what we used to call Ekon? Until the day four explorers of the Brotherhood found proof in Siberia that Volkods were a lupine type of vampire. We consider these creatures to be linked to mytholo mythological werewolf. Now we know it's not true. What about the rest? What about Rakasha from my homeland? What about the Chinese Zhangxi and the Peshan of southern Chile? And without even leaving the beautiful Great Britain, what are the stories of bat-shaped women some, sometimes seen flying around St. James and in Luth? What about the creature only identified as a disaster in some obscurity, obscure testimonies, which tried to destroy London in 1666 by spreading plague all around the city? What about the Nimrod, the mythical figure of the restless vampire hunter, sometimes described by ancestral British econs as a legendary huntsman who only feeds on his on his prey's blood and could go unnoticed among the mortals and immortals. I tell you, my brothers, we must, we can never be too sure of what we could find if only we could forget a few minutes what we're supposed to already know. Warning letter. Dear Dr. Swansea, I must inform you of my deepest reservations concerning the Dr. Thoreau, Strickland, and Harvey Fiddick case. Mr. Fiddick has been hospitalized for a severe work injury. He may permanently lose, uh, lose the use of his arm if not treated adequately. Dr. Strickland claims that a surgical procedure may save the man's arm completely. I say it may also severe, also severe its functions for good if complications arise. Our young colleague is an audacious, daring surgeon who might prove a great professional in a few years, but for now he lacks his skills to perform such a risky procedure. Need to, I remind you of the mistakes he made in the past? Since Dr. Strickland refuses to listen to me, I strongly advise you warn him to perform in such a hazardous experiment. Oh, that's about the guy with his arm that's messed up. Uh, Dr. Swansea, I would be glad to manage in temporary morgue as soon as it opened. As I have already told you, I was a doctor during the war and will gladly serve my country again. I know it's not the same type of physician for the dead as for the living, but I believe it is important to become, to welcome and take good care of the departed too. Rest assured, I'll do my best to fully perform this new duty to the best of my ability. Concerning the question of my qualifications, I'm sorry I can't give you anything more valuable than my parole. I swear to you that my regiment gave, made me a doctor during my war. During the war, and I saved many lives. If my word is not enough, you can contact the military administration to verify my experience and skills. They will confirm that even if I never followed any medical studies, they, the war taught me what a doctor really needs to know. Rakesh Chanada. There were not one, not two, but three notes in here that are important. Do you need something, Jonathan? Yes. I have just a few questions. 
Then ask away. I'm at your service, Doctor. I'm investigating. You mentioned something about a secret society. A brotherhood, if I recall. Could you elaborate? Certainly. I've been a member of the Brotherhood of St. Paul Stoll for several years. We are pledged to monitor and report vampire activity in England as impartial scientific observers. That explains your nightly wanderings about the docks and the questions you ask. I feel it wasn't mere coincidence that led us to that part of town. There was something as yet unseen that set those chain of events in motion. Yet you don't fear me. And still, you know the monster that lurks beneath the civilized surface. The Brotherhood has studied your kind for centuries. We believe you are as supernatural as a lion is to a gazelle. Okay. Since you seem quite the expert on vampires, what could you tell me about my condition and how it came about? As men of science, our first step is always to start with what we know. Forget the myths, the hackneyed scrawlings, and the penny dreadfuls. They do not scratch the surface of the truth you now find yourself in. The sun. The morning following my... transformation. Its rays burned me. There was pain, smoke, uh, and my skin blackened. You will find there is very little that can kill a vampire, my friend. You have been offered relative immortality. The sun will most certainly hurt you, leaving you weakened and damaged. But it will not destroy you. Oh, do I have to kill people? Like, is that necessary? Must I take a life to live? You are a vampire. You feed. And blood is the sole sustenance that can sustain your immortal frame. And only a living creature contains the nourishment you require. But do I have to kill them or can I just like take a little off the top? Since I'm the one working for you, what should I know about Pembroke Hospital? Well, for many years we have been the only medical facility in this part of town that people can rely on. We support the community here, as well as provide health care. Where do we stand today? Oh, to be honest, we cope on a day-to-day -day basis. The first wave of the Spanish flu last summer took us by surprise. We lack many of the basic necessities needed. What do you expect of me? What we need is hope. You were a soldier. This is a war. This white coat's still a uniform. We fight to help the poor. The sick of the East End. The forgotten. Okay. The man we pursued and slew in the canning factory. William Bishop, I believe. Was he a vampire? He was a skull, technically speaking. The debate rages as to their classification. Some think them a subspecies of vampire, others something else. Where do... how do skulls come into existence? The name means slave. The etymology may indicate that they are a lesser species of vampire. From what I know, vampires tend to despise them. Uh, restraining for while feeding on blood is difficult. It's like trying to eat only a single chip. That's true. Oh, man. If people's blood's like Pringles, you better watch out. I'm going to eat every motherfucker in this place. Oh, shit. I'm going to go to town on blood. Just for clarity, what differences are there between myself and a, a skull? A skull is easier to eliminate, Jonathan. Even if they remain formidable foes for the unprepared. Vampires... Now, vampires exist beyond the mortal realm. Yeah, I'm gonna be like... 
and in like a year, you're gonna walk into a room, you're just gonna see this big, fat, bloaty corpse, just with blood packs dripping out of my mouth, just like big ball of fat, just like ah, oh, I need more blood, oh, like you know. We'll see each other again soon, Edgar. Thanks for that delicious lore. I like me some lore, so thank you for that. 50 yards, it's like it's that way. Outside. Blood doesn't have fat in it? Well, obviously you haven't had any blood. We're like Crisco. I know it's not supposed to have fat, but we find a way. Just like life in Jurassic Park. <laughs> oh, let's go talk to the lady while we're here. She's right there. took my dear wife, Emily. I take comfort knowing we'll soon be together again. <coughs> Mr. Rainfield, that's no way to talk. You're in good hands here, and we'll be up again soon enough. <coughs> now do me a kindness and get some sleep. I'll be back round later. Your words are kind, the blessings of an angel. You're the sweet, sweet lady of mercy. Beautiful. Good evening, Dr. Reed. It's a pleasure to see you again. You seem surprised. Dr. Swansea has brought me up to speed concerning your recent appointment to Pembroke Hospital. You're a vamp. The lady who saved me that night. Whoa, before that's vanishing smooth. into thin air. Smooth. I remember you from the pub with Dr. Swansea. Indeed. Allow me to introduce myself formally this time. My name is Lady Ashbury. I remember you well, in spite of the brevity of our encounter. So it seems our Dr. Swansea does indeed have a fascination for creatures of our constitution. Dr. Swansea is a remarkable man. Dedicated, one might say, obstinate? He spent years compiling our bestiary. I hope you're more disposed to answer my questions now. You must have countless questions, but our rather urgent matter first. Swansea has explained. My cover, if you prefer, has been compromised. <gasps> have any of the patients given you trouble? These poor souls have so little left to live for. I do my best to ease their pain. The world would be a better place if it were cared for by women like you. You make me blush. I am simply a necessary evil. Pardon my boldness, your ladyship, but I have questions concerning this condition we share. As a newborn, your hunger for answers is rivaled only by your thirst for blood. But the questions need weight. I'm a scientist. My trade is in the deciphering of mysteries, and I need information to feed my mind. I will gladly answer every question you have, but first... Prove yourself capable of resolving my predicament without eating the culprit. Oh, but I'm hungry. He's like a Big Mac. I want to like nom nom. Dr. Swansea has commissioned me to be your agent in this matter. You could start by explaining what's amiss. 
These past insufferable weeks, I've been the victim of extortion. I've made a first payment, but the blackmailer grows greedy. I must refuse his most recent demands. Why do blackmailers always do that? That's why you don't pay a blackmailer. They're never gonna stop. Who would be so foolish as to threaten you? A kindred spirit. Even if it were the case, and I highly doubt it, a vampire would have asked for something more valuable than money. My suspicions lean toward a patient or their family. What are your expectations? Please be precise. As the newly appointed surgeon of this hospital, you are in an excellent position to ask innocent questions and deftly learn the identity of my blackmailer. Well, I am a detective. If we're dealing with an ordinary criminal, surely you've the means to deal with it yourself, if I may. As immortal tradition doth dictate, all fangs and hypnotic eyes ablaze. The blood would run like a river. That's what I hope to avoid. Violence has a tendency to spiral out of control. Please continue. Every detail is essential. I'm your man. My embarrassment in this matter is eclipsed only by my shame at having put the hospital at risk. The threat from our anonymous scoundrel is clear. A list of dates. My visits coinciding with the dates of suspicious patient deaths due to massive blood loss. Is it true? Now aren't you the blunt one? Hey! Excuse my impertinence, your ladyship. This is not an interrogation. I assure you that this line of questioning is in your best interest. In all honesty, I'm not simply a patron to the hospital. My visits serve a dual purpose. Dr. Swansea has been treating my condition with a revolutionary technique of blood transfusion. It seems you are a specialist in the domain. I'll take care of it. Do you know where I should start? If that was the case, I'd settle the matter myself. You could talk to our local gossip, Harriet Jones. Not a pin drops here without her hearing about it. I'll meet that woman now. My life, as others know, is in your hands, Dr. Reed. I'm sure of your discretion, but I do fear your powers of persuasion will be put to the test. When this is resolved, I'll be your obligé. I'll answer all questions in regards of your condition. Hey, dude right there, don't tell anyone about us talking about vampires. We were talking really loudly. Don't tell anyone. I'm trusting you, bro, okay? Love how loudly we're talking to Lily right next to that guy. Oh no, I didn't hear anything, I swear. Hmm. Talk to Harriet in the hospital. Find out who's spying on Thelma. So someone's blackmailing that other vampire. And they've been means they've been investigating. They've been investigating the the hospital. Oh, that's a convenient way to get inside here. Huh. I didn't realize I had a back door. But that flickering is terrible, though. New subscriber. Thank you for subbing, two cocks. Thank you very much. Wow, every room in here is so pretty. My God. I'm sorry you ended up in a cold and I understand you must be very angry. 
Sorry, two cacks. Sorry, thank you for seven. Wow, look at that fire. That's so beautiful. Although, why would you have a room with just one fireplace? That must be super hot in there. Sit that close to the fire? <laughs> like, holy shit, you must burn alive right there. My god. I know, it's like if you want to roast yourself next to a big roaring fire, there you go. Is district status serious? Someone is up. I gotta get high. Somehow. Mm, rats! Oh, I love the ratsies. Yes. I'm like a big cat, taking care of all the rats. Oh, she's ready for me. Okay, I'm gonna rob her. I hear a baby. Large box of pills. Hell yeah. That's my uh, aunt's favorite thing. Inside there. I think we're going really far away from where we need to be. They like that you can travel through the tops of the city without having to touch the ground. Nice little touch. Is there like a map around here? Gotta get up, like, up that way on top of that building is, is something. I can't figure out how to get up there, though. This background music is gorgeous. Does anyone think this music is beautiful? It's got so many nice instruments in it. It's just so relaxing. Here's a door. Ah. Stairway. Uh oh. Someone's in there. Two people. the agents have discovered. Well, we found them. Little bastards spied. Uh, three days ago, one of our new recruits heard a rumor about a presence of a female vampire hiding in Pembroke Hospital. All we have is her first name, Thelma. Your mission is to discreetly go there and observe any suspicious activity concerning a said leech, then report directly back to us. We'll decide that what action should be taken. Her name is Thelma. I wonder if she has a good friend, Louise. Okay, so the dagger is completely useless. I do not like the dagger. Use revolver, barker... Try going in A on someone. Can't 
Can vampires survive on tomato juice? Uh, no. Because that is not blood. Miss Vampire, hello. Good evening, Miss Halcroft. How are you tonight? I need blood, Doctor. Warm, rich, vibrant blood. Tell me, Thelma, what do you really know about vampires? I saw one and he saw me. I watched him hunt and kill. I saw his terrible wounds heal as his victim died. And then I knew I was saved. You mean you actually saw a vampire here in London? Yes, and it has been the answer to my pain. I must drink and kill to regenerate my decaying body. I am a vampire too. You have no idea what problems your claim could cause if heard by the wrong people, Miss Howcroft. You must stop this nonsense now. Why fear the truth? Strange things live in the dark, Dr. Reed. Strange and ancient beings that were here before this island even had a name. Grandma? Have you heard of any blackmailing going on within these walls? I have no time for mortal games. My secrets are beyond their comprehension, Dr. Reed. I'll leave you, Mistress of the Dark, to your nocturnal activities. Bye, Winota Rider. I gotta talk to that woman in there. Let me look around your room first, because there could be clues in here. Royal Garden Theater, Cloyd Fitch presents Doris Felcher Sappho. Small bag of junk. That's epic loot. What? What? What is this? Who are you? Get out of my room. There's no need for alarm, madam. I'm Dr. Reed, the new surgeon. Preposterous. Dr. Reed, you say? I don't want some bumbling intern. Where's Dr. Swansea? Please calm down, madam. I assure you that I am highly qualified. I'm just back from war duty. <laughs> how brave, threatening an old defenseless woman. You know how long I've been a patient here. You've picked the wrong fight. I'm Harriet Jones. Harriet <gasps> Jones? Indeed. I've been meaning to have a chat with you. You know what goes on here better than any other patient, I gather. Oh, better than any patient, nurse or doctor. I've seen so many vile undertakings. I don't I know heard who there she been is. Some despicable goings on. Was there a case of blackmail? Blackmail? I. Wait. You're investigating something. This isn't a social call. One of those incompetent cunts lit a poor sod's <gasps> fame. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Oh, ho, ho. You did not just say that. If I didn't know better, Miss Jones, I'd be inclined to say you enjoy this type of idle gossip. God's honest truth, Doctor. It's just the way it is here. Most of these bitches would let you freeze to death before getting you a blanket. Oh, shit. You seem to know more about the goings-on here than anyone else. Beware, Miss Jones, in case suspicion should fall on you. That's it. Blame the old and infirm. I see those little bitches' greedy little eyes. Just waiting for me to pop off, they are. I assure you, madam, this is not an investigation into a possible medical error. Debauchery, then? Nurses Crane, Hawkins, Brannigan's, whores, all of them. They can't keep their legs shut. I've seen them scratching slutty sores. Really? Oh. Well, if you have oh. irrefutable proof, I'll not have the staff behaving in such a manner here. This is your business, Doctor, not mine. 
But I swear one of the nurses is cavorting with some man on hospital hours. Thank you for your time, Miss Jones. You've given me something to go on. See you on the next round. Damn, woman. Jesus. What the, the patients hell? and staff might know something. Damn. I'll start my investigation with them. Again. Hello again, Dr. Reed. I feel better already. Can I go soon? God, she has a mouth on her. Goodbye, Mr. Hampton. She said the B word, we'll the C word, the later. W word. If it was, I almost thought I was watching, looking at the presidential Twitter account. Good evening, Mr. Elwood. Evening, Dr. Reed. Have you heard rumors of underhand dealings in the hospital? If you want to know what's going on here, you better talk to Miss Jones. She knows everything, especially what she shouldn't. Goodbye for now, Mr. Elwood. Sick burn, man. The pain. Hello. Good evening, Nurse Hawkins. Good evening, Dr. Reed. Pepper, I know you're very close to Milton Hooks. Yes. Milton Hooks is my man. If you want to report me for that. Just feel free, Doctor. I have no intention of reporting you, Nurse Hawkins. But are you aware of the risks? The rules say I won't be allowed to work as a nurse anymore. But here at the Pembroke, we break rules all the time. Is he worth the risk? Hey, I'm no perfect woman, and Milton is not the finest bloke. But we do our best to get New by. subscriber! That's all any of us can hope for nowadays. The mess star, thank you for subbing. What can you tell me about the strange man visiting one of the nurses during her shift? Let me guess. You spoke with that old shrew, Harriet Jones. Do not pay attention to her, Doctor. She's full of fanciful tales. Hmm. She could have been telling the truth about the mysterious man. That old witch will end up in hell soon enough. Who cares if a nurse finds some happiness where she can? No matter how you feel about her, Miss Jones deserves our help. Does Who she says though? I don't care for her. Hate is what keeps that old crone alive. Everyone here is Goodbye, really, Nelson. really like. Everyone's got a big mouth on them. Jesus. So much hate and C word and B word and. Poor Colin and all kinds of stuff going on. Blaming me will not further your agenda, sir. How long's it going to take to fix me properly? A month? A year? You have the right to disapprove of our methods, and you will kindly apologize when you're feeling better. Good evening, Doctor. I believe we're going to be working <laughs> what together. What was that? Dr. Reed. Dr. Swansea informed us of your arrival, but I could not dare to believe we'd have such good fortune. Such an honor, sir. <laughs> Thank you. And you are? I am Thoreau Strickland. Dr. Thoreau Strickland. I'm a great admirer of your work, Dr. Reed. Aww. Thank you. Please, could you tell me something about yourself? I'm a great admirer of your work concerning blood transfusion, Dr. Reed. I run my own experiments. I'm convinced it's the future. Thank you, DC Kid, for that sub. And why, Sarah? Thank you for that resub. What made you choose to be a doctor? I'm not ashamed to admit you and your work have inspired me. I am honored to have the opportunity to work by your side. I'll give you some advice, but understand that nothing beats practical experience, which can be exhausting and solitary work. Of course, sir. And don't worry, I will never allow myself to be a burden, uh, neither to you nor this hospital. I based my technique on my mentor's research. He helped me perfect my method. What is yours? I'd rather not talk about it. For now, it's just theories and first approach. My process is purely experimental. 
and unsuccessful. Oh. As long as you're cautious and methodical, you may remain empty-handed, but you won't fail. You're not the first one to warn me, but I am convinced knowledge is the main weapon against the ravages of this epidemic. What can you tell me about the Pembroke? Well, it has always been an honor to work with Dr. Swansea, but with your arrival, I can't think of a better opportunity to learn about blood transfusion. You seem quite optimistic. It's a rare and precious attitude in these difficult times. I'm convinced that this epidemic is a test. A test of endurance and dedication for us men of science. Questions remain about our capacity to resolve the situation. True. True. Last summer, during the first wave of the epidemic, I used to joke with Milton about the extra work. We're not smiling now. Do you need help with anything in particular? Well, yes, maybe. I'm waiting for a batch of products I ordered for my personal research, yet my supplier seems to have vanished. Do you want me to play the errand boy for you? Oh, no, Dr. Reed. But if you went personally to his shop, what with your reputation and all, he wouldn't dare to refuse the products I need. I see. Well, give me the address, for I may pass by if I have time. Why would I do bother with that shit? I'm a vampire of immortal powers. Not not a Amazon delivery boy. What do you think of Dr. Ackroyd's aversion to modern medical methods? It's a shame he's so narrow-minded. Dr. Swansea taught me that science is about exploring uncharted territory. I'm convinced that's true. With the influenza and all that's going on, you should put your differences aside, don't you think? Why is it so difficult to work together? I believe that if Dr. Ackroyd had been the one to discover the transfusion process, he would be the first to recommend its use. So you believe it's just a question of jealousy and pride? Dr. Ackroyd is as proud as he is blinded by his obsolete concept of medical science. Have you heard any talk of blackmail going on in the hospital? If you're running some official inquiry, you had better question the patients. They know more than the staff, especially old Miss Jones. Tell me more about your willingness to experiment with new medical techniques. Harvey Fiddick is a patient suffering from a severe injury that could cripple him if not treated correctly. I'm convinced your blood transfusion technique could help him. What is it you really want? To save him? Or to prove your point? Fair question. I want nothing but to save my patient, Dr. Reed. Especially since I know Mr. Fiddick's story. Tell me Mr. Fiddick's story. Our first diagnosis was compromised because Mr. Fiddick lied to us about the real origin of his injury. He first claimed it was an accident. But why would he hide such crucial information from us? Because he is a proud father. Ashamed of putting his children at risk because of his own negligence. Could you please t turn off your microphone, Waffle? God. Or shut your door, please. God. This personal involvement could also appear to be a lack of impartiality. You must know that a good surgeon must remain neutral. I agree. But that does not excuse Dr. Ackroyd's behavior. A man who did not even take time to converse with his patient. Do you think keeping his distance was a mistake? All I know is that I'm taking care of human beings with desires, hopes, and fears. Not some biological machine comprised of blood, bones, and flesh. Tell me, Thoreau, what's the real cause of your dislike for Dr. Ackroyd? He refuses to admit that your blood transfusion technique is the only way to save Mr. Fiddick. I'm convinced we must use it. What Dr. Ackroyd really said is that you lack the skill to perform this operation efficiently. Is there anything you have to say about this? It's a false conceit. Dr. Ackroyd secretly envies your reputation. His jealousy blinds him. I'm not the real target here. Goodbye, Dr. Strickland. Bye. Good evening, Mr. Fiddick. Good evening, Dr. Reed. Any news about my operation? I have another question first. Have you heard talk of any blackmail here at the hospital? No. 
nothing. Yeah, the game is very long dialogue. Well, there's lots of talking in this game. What's this game about exactly? I think it's about $49.99. Tell me about your injury, Harvey. Why do you feel so guilty about it? My wife died because of me. And now I may lose everything because I've been careless enough to hurt myself. What an arsehole. How could your job be responsible for your wife's death? I was working a double. She went out to bring me a hot meal and got caught in a German bomb raid. You can't hold yourself responsible for your injury, Mr. Fiddick. Unless you tried to hurt yourself. Of course I didn't hurt myself. But I can't work until my arm is fixed. My children need to eat, Doctor. Seriously, shut your door, please. Goodbye for now, Mr. Fiddick. I'll see you later. Sweet girl. Reads me like a book. He got himself a Spermomatic 5000 and, you know, can't resist. You always use words to calm the children. Coding. As for me. Hello there. I'm quite busy right now, Dr. Reed. Have you heard about any blackmail going on in this hospital? Blackmail? Nonsense. Tell me, Waverly, what do you think of Dr. Strickland's enthusiasm for his experimental research? Strickland is playing with his patients' lives for pride and glory. Now that, sir, is unethical. Are you thinking about something in particular? Harvey Fiddick needs delicate surgery. I believe we should stick to the usual procedure. But my young colleague obviously disagrees. And are you not afraid that your rivalry with Strickland may be blinding you? Rivalry? I guess you could call it that. But I will never be childish enough to let my personal feelings affect my judgment. Oh, really? Why do you wish to lead this surgery? I strongly believe that Mr. Fiddick should not be butchered to test an unproven procedure. Other people may say that's too conservative a point of view. Conservative? And what are you going to say to Mr. Fiddick if he loses his arm because of the operation? Because that's what's going to happen if the surgery is a failure. Mm. Yeah, that's a tough one. Thank you for your time. We'll talk later. So we do the surgery, possibly heal his arm. Or he loses his arm. But it's already severely injured, so I don't know. Yeah. Did I talk with you already? Pippa, Hawkins, yep. Dorothy Crane and Grim Gwyneth are the next ones. Let's just say she's out here. Fine nurse Gwyneth, there she is. Hello. Good evening, Nurse Brannigan. Good evening, Doctor. Have you seen a strange man visiting any of the nurses here? I've never heard of such a thing, Doctor. Never? Do you know if any of the hospital staff have criminal backgrounds? The people who work here all come from very different backgrounds, Doctor. Just like the patients. Hmm. Well, it's not really helpful. Goodbye, nurse. Bye. Call me if you need assistance. Hopefully the last nurse is actually helpful. Where is the other nurse? Jesus. Should I be on the dock, maybe? So many dying at the same time. Why is she so far away? Activate your senses. A citizen behaving strange, their heart will emit a distinct glow. By looking at the citizen, you'll lock a special interaction. Look for Dorothy Crane.
You're sure you don't come back with me? Nah, I have to see someone at the hospital. Be careful. You look so bad they may keep you as a Is patient. Is that chaplain? Fuck him. I don't like hospitals. Or doctors. Well then, when you go back to Whitechapel, you may find this useful. What is it? A pass for a free medical exam by the best nurse available. Just read it. I don't read well, but thank you, I guess. You kind of look like Charlie Chaplin with that, uh... With that outfit on there. Retrieve the thug in the sewers. You know, he can't read well. He tries, though. Oh, hi there. It ain't! <laughs> ah. Well, you never walked up someone just started gunning them down? It's locked. Well, let's go in the sewer then. It's locked. locked, all right. Well, that way's locked. That way's locked. This other one must be unlocked. Ah, the sewer. It's the home of all sorts of monsters in a big city. But no one ever goes down there. Uh oh. He's locked the door behind him. I need to find another way to follow him. Whoops, raw button. Uh oh. What the hell is that? It's not like someone just got wrecked. Down the sewer, but I always thought just tubes of poo. Never like all this stuff. This man has things. been savagely attacked and dragged to the floor. God, is that the is that the guy we're looking for? All right, hold on. Sneak up on this guy. Cudgel, money, more money. Okay, stop saying that over and over. Suck. No, 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 no. Ow, ow, god damn it. Ow, piece of crap. Gotcha. Ow, he hurt me. I'll take that. I know he counter sucked me. This is extremely rude. Uh, spring and aluminum powder. I did the suck.
Nom 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 nom. The ban of the dragon. Concerning the Brotherhood of St. Paul's Stole, uh, I would advise our members to be very wary of the so-called scholars. Yes, indeed, most of them are always affable and respectful whenever they approach us, but it would be quite unwise for a discreet circle like the Ascalon Club to foolishly speak about our goals, our members, or our traditions. I also w would like to remind our fellow members that the Brotherhood itself is ancient enough to have some mysterious traditions. One of them, according to informants, could be the ritual of the so-called Ban of the Dragon. It seems that, in certain tr conditions, when the brothers of St. Paul find a violent or bloodthirsty mortal, they call upon him this ban. Was it exactly? I don't know. Does it really exist? I don't know for sure either. But what I have established as facts is that whenever hostile victim vampires threaten London, it disappeared without a trace after the Brotherhood pronounced a ban upon him. The loyal and Fergal Bancha himself have never been foolish enough to openly provoke the Brotherhood. This is a lesson we all must remember. Never be considered a, dra a dragon by the Brotherhood. Whatever the hell that means. Oh. Mm, nom, 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 nom. Nom, 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 nom. Thank you, rat. Wrong button again. Uh, light regeneration serum. How, am I able to equip those? Oh, they're right there. Oh, sewer beast. Whoa, hello. What sort of creature is this? Suck. Watch it. Uh oh, oh god, what the hell was that? Watch it. Just gotta melee him, I guess. Not a stop, wait. I forgot I have my little thing. Oh, there you go. Oh, God.
Hopefully there's a checkpoint right there at the start. Gun's not worth it. Okay, try again. Round two. Alright, uh, uh sort of lock up, please. Is this? Suck, suck it. No, I freaking dodged with Lemmy. Fucking dicks, god damn it. Give me that blood. God, stamina is such a bitch at this. Come on, suck.
God damn it, no! Get wrecked, you piece of shit. Ah. Here's what's left of him. Not a lot to check, but I should anyway. Ah. <sighs> yeah, it's, if you don't level up uh, by feeding on people, the game is harder. Uh, Nurse Crane's voucher. If you're sick, if you have no money, whoever you are, wherever you're from, come see Dorothy to get help. No tricks, no charges, no questions asked. Just find Darius Producer's house and present this coupon. Some voucher. Free health care. check up in Whitechapel. What is Nurse Crane up to? I really must find her. Free health care? Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, unfortunately, he was heavily resistant to our blood damage and melee damage, which is like our primary damage right now. <laughs> Give me that blood, sir. Give me that blood. I'm gonna fill up on you, if that's okay. Uh, Give me that blood. Give me that blood. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we got a lot of XP. We're gonna be able to level up. We're gonna be level so high, they're gonna be like, we didn't program a level this high. You have so much experience. <laughs> yeah, I sucked that man until he died. What a way to go though. Oh, rats. Wait, what's that right there? Come here. This is <sighs> despicable. I mean, I enjoy the combat system. It's kind of, it, it's kind of reminds me kind of of like Witcher 3's combat style. Dodge, hit, hit, dodge, hit, dodge, dodge, hit, hit, dodge, dodge, hit, dodge. You know, careful. The endangered citizen may not survive the next night. Go check on him. Claustrophobia. I don't want to die here. I want to see the sky. Feel the fresh air. Uh, yeah. one, thing, one thing I definitely need to, to upgrade is stamina. Apparently my biggest limiting thing is stamina. Oh, hell no. You can't suck me. That's my job. Come on, come on. Suck again? Oh, yeah. Oh, God, yes. Yeah, this streamer does suck very much. He sucks all day. Hi there. Are you injured, sir? Help me get out of here. 
I need to get out. I'm Dr. Reed, and I'd be glad to help you, but you must calm down first. Please, take a deep breath and tell me your name. Okay. Okay, I I'm Oswald Thatcher. Please, I need to get out. All right, Mr. Thatcher, you're safe now. Do you think you can reach the street by yourself? Yes. Yes, I do. Good. Now leave this place and enjoy the cool night air. It's quite invigorating. <laughs> I'm sure you'll feel better if you do. <laughs> um. Oh, he has a headache. Well, it, his, his blood's kind of weak. Goodbye. He rescued Sid and he would turn to his district the following night. Well, I'll let him go back home because I can make his blood. Like, I could suck him now, but it wouldn't be a very fulfilling load of experience. If I work on him more, I can get a really big load out of him later. That's worth way more. See, so he only, he's only going to give me 350, but if I really work on him hard, I'll get like double the load. The triple load, actually. Just, just takes some time to work it out. Find hints on them and stuff. What? What did I say? It's like fattening the pig before you eat them. You know, you don't, you don't eat the pig right away when it's a baby. You let it get fat and you know nurse it, make sure it's healthy. And then you slaughter and have New ham subscriber. for Christmas. Thank you, X Bakcha. Thank you for the sub. Merry Christmas to everyone except this ham. Who we're gonna eat? No, 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 no. And bacon too. Don't forget the bacon. Uncertain Zero, thank you for that resub. <laughs> Daggers OP. I, the stakes OP weapon. So far, the, the most, the strongest weapon is the damn uh, stake. It's so powerful. Uh oh. Blackmail and Whitechapel. Oh, you dead! Sorry, just walking away. Don't don't mind me. They don't know I'm a vampire unless I do something vampiric in front of them. Dan, do you like to suck girls or boys more? Uh, depends. Sometimes, you know, if you need a little nice, some feminine blood, that's good. Sometimes you want some male blood. They're both good in different ways. And for different reasons. Alright guys, I think we're going to go ahead and stop it there for right now. Let's go ahead and take a lunch break. I'll be back on an hour. When I come back, I'll, I think we'll play some more of this. Might play some PoE, but most likely this though. I'm enjoying this, but I need to go use, and grab some food because I'm hungry. So I'll be back in an hour. When I come back, uh, we'll play some more Vampire and see how much more it sucks. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm enjoying this game. It's not a perfect game. It's got flaws here or there, you know. Certain decisions are a little awkward. But I'm really enjoying the conversations and the combat system is pretty fun. I think we'll enjoy this playthrough. It's, a, it's been fun so far. I'm liking it. Unlike Agony, this game is fun to play. And I'm having a blast with it. But I'll be back uh, in an hour, guys, after I grab some food. I'm going to grab some food. And I shall return in one hour from now. So mark your calendars. If you guys can't come back, um, I'll be back on tomorrow at the same time, 9 a.m. Pacific.